Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel and it, it, it's a different one, it's a different one. It is, I started a new series and uh, this is the start of uh, a series of called How I Paint Things. Now I know a lot of you guys, um, I, I, I'm not the greatest painter, you know, I, I you know, I think I think I paint alright but I don't think I'm the, you know, golden demon winner or anything like that obviously. Um, but I just want to, you know, I've seen... A lot, of, a lot of you guys asking like how I paint some stuff, um, like, you know, how I paint my Easterlings, that kind of stuff, um, and Dale, so we're going to be doing that in this series. So yes, this first episode on uh, how I paint things is going to be on this guy, is the uh, Warrior of Minas Tirith, I don't know if you guys can uh, see him there, um, but um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to paint this, and it's very topical, um, since the Battle of Osculia set has just come out. Um, now, how I paint things is, um, I don't go to an extra high level, except on, you know, some, maybe some heroes, um, but these, these type of guys, you know, that is just, like, um, how I regularly paint things, you know, it's at, it's at a decent standard, I think, um, but, um, yeah, yeah that, that, that's how I do it, essentially. So, uh, it's gonna be like a step-by-step -step process. I think I might change the way I do this, um, for the future videos, but I hope you guys enjoy this one. And, uh, all you have to do to get started is obviously build your warriors in Minas Tirith and undercoat them black and we'll get started from there. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're gonna start with the face first, guys, just so we don't actually have to worry about being too neat here, uh, as we're gonna go over the silver details later. So, start by doing a base coat of the face of any flesh with Bugman's Glow. After we do a wash of the skin with Reichlin Flesh Shade, we're going to do the eyes now. Now this is a way so we can actually tidy up uh, with the later stages on the skin. So start by doing a base coat of the eyes or the pupils of Pallid Witch Flesh and then doing a dot uh, into that with a bat and black. Now you don't have to do the eyes if you guys don't want to, but for me, uh, I've started doing eyes on a lot of my minis, so it's up, it's up to you at this stage if you want to or not. Next up is a highlight of Cadian Flesh Tone, and it's in this step that we can neaten up any mistakes that we've previously done in the in the in the previous step with doing the eyes. So you can neaten up any mistakes that you've done now using Cadian Flesh Tone. And for the final highlight of the skin, just for the topmost areas of the skin, we're doing a final highlight of 50-50 mix of Cadian Flesh Tone and Kislev Flesh. To base coat the armor, we're doing an 80-20 mix of Iron Breaker and Kalidor Sky. This is to bring a subtle blue hue into the armor, which we will see at the end. Uh, it does bring a subtle hue into it, and it's to represent the ocean uh, of how much the N Numenorians used to love the oceans, and it's continued into the uh, into into the Gondor Gondorian armor as well. So uh, yeah, that's that's you know I know a lot of people don't you know usually just do a silver, uh, you know a bright silver for their Minas Tirith warriors, but I've decided to have a bit of a blue hue into my armor. For any other metals, including the sword, any rivets, or the outside of the shield, we are going to be base coating this in lead belcher. For all metal areas, including the armor, the sword, everywhere that we've uh, now base coated metal, we're going to be doing a 50-50 mix of Lamia Medium and Nullin Oil. After this wash is dry, we're going to be doing a 20-80 mix of Drakonoff Nightshade and Lamia Medium. This very thin down blue wash is going to be going over all the plate armor to accentuate the uh, blue armor that we've already done previously. Now, over all the plate armor, we're going to be highlighting up again with the same mix, base coat mix of 80% Ironbreaker to 20% Kalidor Sky, and just leaving that wash showing in the recesses and doing a very fine layer uh, of this mix over the plate armor.
for all the other metal areas, we're going to be highlighting them up with Iron Breaker. After that, we're going to be doing a all over highlight, a very fine highlight of Stormhost Silver over all the metallic areas. Now, this is only just a very fine edge highlight, just having to get the tops of the edges of the armor. No, it doesn't have to be too precise here, guys, um, just over where the light would mostly hit the armor. You don't have to go over every single plate, just the tops of where the light would hit. Now, without a doubt, you would definitely have gotten some silver over all the black areas that we need to be black leather or on the shield as well. So just give these a base coat of Corvus Black. Now, with the shield, we're going to darken that down now with the contrast color Black Templar. This is to give it a nice, a nice recess shade. Uh, and to darken up the shield nicely that we see so much in the movies. For all the black cloth and leather areas, we're going to be highlighting this up with Mechanica Standard Grey. Now we are quickly going to base coat the hair Rhinox Hide. After this is dry, we're going to give it a wash of Agrax Earthshade. Moving over to the gold details, we're going to base coat all of these with Liberator Gold. This includes the hilt on the sword, uh, any gold trims that you guys want to see or you, know, you want to put yourselves on the model. Um, and then after that, we're going to give it whole thing a wash of seraphim sepia After that sepia wash is dry, we're going to delve down this gold now using Sycorax Bronze. Just a quick highlight all over the gold. Now for the most trickiest part of the model, I think, and that is the wonderful white tree of Gondor on the shield. Now, obviously, it doesn't stand out as well as other models. You know, it's not very detailed on here, um, but just do your best, guys. Do we do it a base coat of Rekka flesh? Just have a nice pointy brush. Make sure you have some good, nice, good paint on there, nice flowing paint. Make sure you uh, thin that down and just try your best, guys. Take your time and have a nice point to your brush. And if you do make, make any mistakes, make sure you neaten back up with some Corvus Black. Now, all you have to do now is highlight this up with some Pallid Witch Flesh. Again, if you make any mistakes, just use, use some Corvus Black, but you should have a nice detail of how the shield should work. So again, just a nice point to your brush. Take your guys, take your time. And after that, we're pretty much done. So you just have to base how you usually base your miniatures. And then we are done with this Warrior of Minas Tirith. And there we have it guys, the Warrior of Minas Tirith ready to defend the walls of the White City against the hordes of orcs from Sauron.
So there we go, guys. That is how I paint a Warrior of Minas Tirith. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you know, it was uh, definitely something different for the channel, and I hope you guys will uh, enjoy the future ones. I've got a few other things planned on, um, like how to paint some orc skin. I know, like, you know, a lot of, uh, I've, you know, I've tried to look at a few things that are, that are not um, as common on YouTube, like, you know, painting things. So orc skin, I'm going to do some Warriors of Dale, or Cap Captain of Dale. And a few other things as well. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. But uh, let me know your comments and uh, criticisms in the uh, comment section below. Do let me know uh, if I could approve on anything, um, uh, you know, etc. Um, and uh, let's get a discussion going and help to create this uh, as uh, helpful and, uh, you know, good as possible, I guess. Um, but yeah, th hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. And as always, happy gaming. Thank you.